Okay, um, welcome to the second part of our lessons in our series IGCSE Geography. Now, in this second part, we're still going to we're still looking at population growth rate. Uh, so we're going to look at that, and also we're going to look at case studies on um, um, regions with high and low population growth rate. So quickly, uh, the learning objective is for us to describe how birth rate death rate and migration contribute to the population of a country increasing or decreasing or declining then the success criteria is to calculate um, growth rate of a country um, it's also case study of a country with high rate of natural uh, population growth and case study of a country with low rate of natural population growth so quickly some keywords which we've stated in in the first lesson is um, natural population growth or change is the difference between birth rate and death rate why net migration is the difference between immigrants and emigrant why population growth rate is the difference between birth rate death rate and net migration so you find out that, that natural change in a population which i have stated earlier the difference between birth and death rate so you find out that, that natural change is birth rate minus death rate per 1000 of the total population also uh, when we look at migration as it affect the population and growth of a particular country we find that a migration can cause the population to either increase or decrease now this occurs as a result of emigration which is people going out and immigration which is people coming in okay now net migration is the difference between the immigrant and the emigrant so the formula for net migration is i minus e immigration minus emigration now if you combine that of natural population growth and that of uh, net migration it will now give us our population growth rate now so in calculating population growth rate you will take into consideration the birth rate the death rate and net migration and population growth rate will now be birth rate minus death rate plus or minus net migration because when you calculate net migration you can either have a positive value or a negative value so you just substitute and obviously you get your answer now we need to also look at the impact of rapid population growth it comes out a lot now the impact of the rapid population growth most of the times is the same so these are some of the tricks you need to note is the same uh, with the impact of overpopulation with the impact of overpopulation so if you know the reasons for over, uh, the impact of overpopulation or the problems of overpopulation is the same thing as the impact of rapid population growth now so if we look at that if we pick them individually uh, some of the reasons for rapid population growth uh, include things like um, if there is high number of people obviously there will be lack of housing uh, we have to lead to traffic congestion uh, it can cause pressure on health care we have lack of water supply so the amount of water will not be available for the total population because it has grown rapidly uh, lack of employment uh, which will now lead to poverty and starvation uh, so we have poverty already at seven deforestation because of high population growth forests we need to be cleared in order to build infrastructure so there'll be lack of sanitation and there'll be a lot of waste uh, there'll be pressure on education lack of food air and water pollution so these all are impact of rapid population growth now let's look at a uh, case study usually if you want if you're answering a case study question the, it comes out in this format for a name country you have studied describe the reasons and impact of high rate of natural population growth uh, which will give you seven marks uh, also here they said the reason for low rate or the impact of low rate of natural population growth now to get this full mark in IGCSE uh, seven mark case study question all you need to do is to make sure you include the background information and statistics and place specific reference and you give at least four points i normally say four points usually it's three but i prefer giving four so no matter what you'll be able to get uh, those marks four points with explanation or you make sure you develop your points 
then you write a reasonable conclusion to your statement. Now, for case study, we'll be looking at Niger. Niger, which is found in West Africa, is a country with high rate of natural population growth. So background information is that Niger is a landlocked country. Landlocked means it does not have any access to uh, uh, the sea. So it's surrounded by countries. So it's a landlocked country in West Africa and Niger has an annual growth rate of around 3.8%. Now it is an LEDC, so it's one of the poorest countries in the world and the population has grown from 1.7 million in 1960 to over 27 million in 2023. Now Niger has the highest fertility rate in the world with 7.1% bet per women it has a literacy rate of 28.7 percent and you find out that the birth rate is 49.6 uh, and the death rate is around 20.3 you can use that data to calculate natural population growth rate now 63 percent of the population live below the poverty line and 90 percent are into agriculture so you see why they need a lot of kids to also assist them to farm and collect water now, for poor families, children are a source of wealth. Okay, so what is the problem and what are the reasons now? So reasons for high rate of uh, high birth rate in Niger uh, are things like uh, they need people to work in the farm, extra workers. They usually start family at a very young age. So there is serious problem of early marriages in Niger. Now, only 5% of the women use contraceptive, so no knowledge about family planning, no use of condoms, so they just give birth to kids a lot. Now, huge children, huge child mortality rate, so a lot of kids die before their first birthday, so parents tend to give birth to more kids so that there will be high possibility of some surviving. Now, higher status with a larger family. When you have more kids, you have higher status within the community. Now, many women marry at the age of 12, 13, 14 in this country. Now, what are the consequences? So we have consequences here. Consequences of high rate of population growth. One of the consequences is that there is death due to pregnancy uh, because pregnancy is like the highest killer, which uh, result to 15 to 19 year old girls having fistula are uh, very common in Niger. Now they have poor medical facilities, so high uh, so they have high infant mortality as a result. Now, um, country is already struggling to provide the young with education, healthcare, and job. And you now have more young uh, coming into the population system. There is excessive youth unemployment, uh, which can definitely lead to civil unrest and protests. Uh, it suffers from high unemployed, um, unemployment, poverty, lack of healthcare, and education. Now, this has also led to the development of slums due to overcrowding. Now, solution to this problem of high uh, birth rate is education. Educate the women on the use of contraceptives and the importance of having small family size. size. So you find that the United Nations teaches about contraception in schools, although only 90% make it to secondary school. So you find that the level of education is really really low now a country with low population growth rate so we'll be looking at russia a country with low population growth rate now the total population in russia is around 144 million um, which is usually from 148 so you find out that it was 148 million in the early 1990s and this has dropped to 144 million so 4 million lesser uh, as of present so it is estimated to fall to 111 million by 2050 now so what is the reason for this low birth rate the reason for low birth rate is first high death rate now in russia there is high death rate where you have around 13.5 uh, per 1000 per annum and this death rate is due to uh, alcohol uh, massive consumption of alcohol which will eventually lead to liver failure the life expectancy for male is 66 while for female is 76 in russia now we have low birth rate which has to do with 11 per 1000 11 per 1000 so fertility rate in in, in russia is 1.3 per woman 
so they need at least 2.1 to sustain the population but they don't even have up to 2.1 women choose not to have children due to poor economy low income and high rate of alcoholism in male population there is lack of good housing there is lack of good medical care and education uh, we also have lack of food for the very poor population within the community so all these have led to people not giving birth to a whole lot of kids now high rate of abortion also is in is occur in russia seen as a method of contraception uh, with more abortions than live birth now children are expensive and and the government will provide you with a pension if you give birth to more kids now low immigration people are not coming into russia so immigrants treated with great distrust uh, uh as a tourist also so and there is brain drain in russia uh with economic emigration from russia to the west so people are leaving instead of people coming in now what is the problem which kind of problem will occur if the country population is decreasing so you can see the men here with alcohol and drugs now one is that the economy will shrink shrinking of the economy um, that will bring about concern over the future of the country so young usually we now begin to finance the old uh, less people will be able to join the military when we look at impact of having young population you understand that problem in detail now what is the solution what are some of the possible solutions that the russian government have come up with is that government pay every family that have a second baby a year wages uh, a child support payment has increased drastically and in in president vladimir putin uh, 2018 election campaign he pledged to spend 8.6 billion dollars over three years on programs including mortgage subsidies um, payouts to families to encourage russians to have more babies now so we are done with this part two and see you guys in part three.